Hey everybody, welcome to the next episode of the Strand Tennis Center podcast, filled with tips, advice, tennis, not tennis, just life advice too, whatever you need. Uh, like it on YouTube, share it on uh, the podcast as well. Thank you. Everybody, welcome to the Strand Tennis Center podcast. I'm Steve Capo. I'm your host. Santi, how are you, buddy? You're smiling now. I couldn't get Santi to smile all morning. Now he's smiling. Wait, Thank is you. That, is that really how you say your last Capo name? Capo is really the Italian uh, name. I know I changed it. We all just it. say Capo. Capo, yeah. yeah it's been Americanized. Okay. Capo is the real Italian name. Capo. But, so sometimes I I start saying Capo because we, we've been... It's been said for years in my family, but it's really capo. Capo do di capo, which is uh, the head of the head, really, whatever. Whatever. Nice. Uh, anyways, um, so I want to do the second part of Napoleon Hill's Bible. Is that, can you see it? Law of success. It is really the Bible of all these books, like I said, all these self-help books between Carnegie, Anthony Robbins, and all that. Carnegie actually told, Dale Carnegie actually told Napoleon Hill to do this. And then he worked with Andrew Carnegie, who's the great steel developer, um, the tycoon, in writing these, and again, like I said, Andrew Carnegie told him to write this, and then all these successful business people told him to take the stuff out of the book because they don't want to give the secrets away. So we did the first 10. I'm going to do the last five. I'll go through the first 10 in my phone so we have this because you have to take a lot of notes with this book because it's quite large. Santi, I've told you to read it. He's going to do it. Santi, you're going to do this, right? You're yes. going to get through it? I'll read it. It's great. So, and again, number one, definite chief aim, have a goal. Self-confidence, you need inner confidence. You need to develop self-confidence. You do that through adversity, too. That helps you build confidence, uptake risks. Um, the habit of saving, you have to learn how to save. No matter how successful you are, if you don't save, and I was just listening to something else, how do you become rich? Pretty simple. Live below your means and work and make money and live below your means. That's all it is. Initiative and leadership, you've got to take an initiative of what you're doing. You've got to take action. Uh, imagination. You have to have imagination. You have to figure out how to reach out to people. I just reached out to someone recently. I want to talk to them. You have to figure out ways in which your imagination can provide value to them. A lot of people reach out to people, Santi, and they're just asking for things and saying, hey, what does this person really want? What do they really need? When I need something from them, you should just first give them something first. Uh, enthusiasm. You just need enthusiasm for your job. You have to be excited to do what you're doing. Self-control can't react to things right away you have to understand a process if you get out of control again like mm -hmm. we said here if a customer's wrong and we lose control we're wrong we're wrong yeah. you have to stay in control uh, number eight habit of doing more that is paid for again if you do your job do extra work extra work is huge will make you successful pretty simple accurate thought you have to make sure that what you're doing what you put your mind to, you will control your actions. Only enter into the mind which you've needed for your chief aim. In other words, don't waste your time on thoughts that are not needed. No negative thoughts, anything. So positive okay. thoughts. Uh, okay, so that was 10. Now 11 through 15, we'll go through the second part here. Concentration. So it's basically creating habits very similar to, and again, this is where these all these books come from. This is 1925. James Clear, Atomic Habits. Remember that book, super popular recently and think came out two years ago oh okay concentration is creating habits first make it easy to start a habit like james clear said so if you want to not have junk food don't put it in your house make uh, the the healthy food easier to reach easier right. to see easier to access there was a book on influence which is a fantastic book by uh, robert with a c i forget his last name that you can have kids eat healthy food in school if you just put it in the right place so if you okay. go to the dining hall and you put the healthy food in the in the visual p spot, yeah, you can actually have them eat the healthy food. Okay. And, and it's some, it's a great marketing thing. Think about marketing with a grocery store. When you go into a grocery store, why do you think the fruit is in one section and the milk in, and the dairy is all the way in the other section? So you have to walk all the so way. So you have to, to walk all the way through. And then you buy other. So stuff. those are the two most popular things, like. Like Whole Foods, they have all their fresh, they have all their fruit in the beginning, mm -hmm. and then their pre-mades and milk and all those things on the other side. Yeah. So you have to walk through the mall. You yep. have to walk through. And then you get hungry the grocery and you store. buy stuff that you don't really need. And you go all the way, you buy stuff. Right? Yep. I wonder if they did a study and they put it all in one section, how much, how low their revenue would go. Right. Lower. 
So that's concentration. Habits are about information you take in. The magic key to success is renter. Great service through ambition, desire, concentration. So it's about the information you take in. That's a key habit, right? Concentration and creating habits is from sometimes not saying yes, it's the saying no. So you have to say no to certain things to create habits. You can't say yes to everything. You may have to even say no to some opportunities, but you're going to have to say no to, say, going out all the time, going here all the time, going with your friends, hanging out. If you want to be successful, you have to learn to say no. Number 12, cooperation. Pretty obvious, but to be successful, you're going to have to be able to work with other people. It's very hard to be successful by yourself. You can travel faster, but you can't be as successful if you're alone. You need a group for leverage. You need people to help you. I was just reading that book, Sapiens. Remember that book, Sapiens? Fantastic book. The... The reason why, you know, and I, you know, it's amazing, you, you know, you just take it for granted, you know, sapiens are a species, right, of humans. There was all these other humans alive, Hom mm. Homo erectus, Homo sapiens, Homo this. Think about different breeds of foxes. We're the only breed of human left. Right? Okay. And the way we have been able to, and I was wondering, I was wondering this fact, our brain is pretty much similar to it was 10,000 years ago. And I was like, why have we been able to create all this incredible innovation in such a small period of time recently? Yeah. You know, whether it's 200 years or 100 years. And it's even more recently, 20 years. It said the human with their brain could only make a tool or this 10,000 years ago. And they can make a nuclear bomb now. Yeah. And the reason why is that there's just more humans that can collaborate. Right. And the Internet is creating a situation where you can get millions and millions of humans to collaborate. So the more of these brains you get together, the more success it is. It's got nothing to do with the human more developed 10,000 years ago. It's the fact that you're just leveraging them all together. Right. So to make an atomic bomb, you need hundreds of people from all different, you know, whether modalities or things they know. Physics, bi biology, physics, all those things, chemistry, math. And you put all them together and they create something incredible. And they were doing that and they did that in regards to factory oriented things. They realized that if one person, I forget the economist who talked about this, if one person did every job in a factory, they could only make a certain amount, 20 of them. Right. But if you delegated all the jobs out to different people, they could make 10 times the amount. Yeah. So cooperation is key and that's what you're going to need. And just by sharing and getting more minds involved, you are going to be more successful. Failure, number 13. We all know that. Failure is not defeat. You need failures to develop. So if you're not failing, that means you're not testing yourself and going out there and taking risks. Failure is a key to development. Uh, I know it well. I've failed plenty of times, and really, like I've said this before, failure and success are not much different. You take failure, you take a little 5, 2, 3% of that failure, you take a little success out of it, and you go on to the next failure. And then you start to compound how much success is out of that failure, and it builds. So failure is key. 14, tolerance. Tolerance is key. Don't judge. Don't judge based on appearance, based on what views or people idea especially now or you know between democrat and republicans people are so polarized don't judge a lot of value can be f gotten or received from people that you have different views from i mean a beautiful thing was uh if you knew the two supreme court justices scalia who was a republican and ruth ginsburg who was liberal were close friends mm. very close friends went over each other the house very very friendly together you need to work together Ronald Reagan was very conservative. Tip O'Neill was the Speaker of the House back in the 80s. They worked out deals at the bar, right? They worked them out. You have to be able to cooperate with other people because you're never going to get everything you want, and they're right. never going to get everything they want. You have to compromise and understand that. Um, so, so tolerance is a big deal. Uh, what's uh, number 15? The golden rule. What is the golden rule, Santi? 
Mm, do one to others. Oh, no. Do one to others, others as, as you would do to yourself. Okay. So again, pretty simple. People don't do it. You want to be treated with respect. I would want to mm. be treated with respect. So if mm. I treated you with disrespect, mm. I wouldn't want to be treated with anything. Anything that I w- how I should be viewed, someone should talk to me, I should talk to them the same way. Golden rule is very important. So that's all 15. I'll review those t- the 10 through uh, 5 again. Accurate thought, concentration, cooperation, failure, tolerance, the golden rule. So those are the 15 laws of success, which if you can incorporate, again, use the 1% rule. 1% of it a week, you're 52% better for the year. So I just wanted to finish the second part. It's very important. I would have anybody, even if you listen on audio, listen to it on audio. This book, Santi's going to read it, and he's going to have his own review for you. (laughs) Seven-hour-long podcast. Oh, man. Um, how are you otherwise, Santi? I'm doing well. Thank doing you. well? Yeah. How's the car? Fixed? Uh, no, they. Uh, I can't drop it off till February 28th now. But you have a rental. Oh, you have your second no, I car. Just, I have my other car. Okay. I'm still driving the, 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 the truck, though. Oh, you are? I put, like, a ghetto mirror on it. Okay. Okay. Like, yeah. Well, at least it's covered by insurance, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. good. Santi had a, you don't mind if I say it, he had no, a tree fall on the car, fall, which is unfortunate. Yeah, a big, big, large branch. Yeah. But as long as you were okay, no one got hurt. Yep. That's a big key. Santi's like, I want my car. Yeah, I want my car pristine. How's everything otherwise, Santi? How's okay. uh, relaxing? You relaxing? Good. Uh, how's uh, you been doing any skiing? I went to Vermont this weekend. Oh, how'd it go? By the good. way, you were talking about. That. You know what's okay? I'll say t- I'll say it on the podcast. Yeah, I sure. heard gunshots at night. Gunshots? Yeah, in Bennington, Vermont, it was crazy. And Burlington, lady with Bennington. It's not good. It's, it's like not good over there. there. Yeah, and then I heard lady screaming. And so it's like I was like, and I could hear this out my window. I was like, what is going on? Uh, I, I told you the story about my wife going up there because Jackie lives in Burlington. Okay, and they yeah. were being followed. Really? Yeah, and they were oh, really no scared. Yeah. This is in Burlington. They went into a store and they said, "Hey, we're being followed. Could you call the police?" And what did the person listen? What did the person at the store say? I can no. call a social worker. And Maria was like, what? listen, can you call somebody that, like, is an officer of the law? Like, yeah. because it's very difficult. And then they read two weeks later, and that wasn't, maybe it wasn't the same person, that somebody was killed by a vagrant wow. in the area. So yeah. you, listen, look, look, regardless of, you know, tolerance, regardless yeah. of your political leanings, leanings, I think everybody understands that we need law and order you can't have people doing whatever they want i mean i can have a different view than you about i don't know any political thing but you need you need your house protected you need your your person protected you just protection is key it's part of i mean we deserve that right and everybody works hard and pays taxes and they deserve that right to have protection yeah so so were you nervous yeah a little bit uh, like, uh, and what time were these gunshots? It was like 3 a.m. And it woke you up out of it yeah. like a dead sleep? Yeah. And were they close? Uh, you could hear it like through the, w- I mean, from the window. Uh, so I don't know, maybe like half a mile, I don't know, a quarter mile. And you were in a hotel. Yeah. And it was first floor, second? Uh, first floor. But first it was floor. Like, so it was like somewhere. You I must have know, felt pretty where. nervous. But, I mean, you're in the room, so you're fine. But, um... Where the was the was good though? <laughs> the ski- where was the woman screaming in your hotel? No, it was Outside. like on the s- out in the street somewhere. Did you lock the window and close it uh, after that? No, I was kind of curious. <laughs> you were, and it kept going. I thought, you know, like after the gunshots, you thought they would be dead, but I don't know if maybe the guy sh- sh- or whoever shot it into the air as like uh, a scare uh-huh. tactic. But then, like you know, it was fine. And then thirty minutes later, more gunshots and more screaming. And so you I was didn't like, hear an ambulance or anything. No. It's not a good sign. Not a good sign. Yeah. Mm. Wow. See, that's it's unfortunate, right? Yeah. Everybody de- deserves to live in some sort of peace. Yeah. Anyways. But <laughs> ending on that note, try to do try to do a couple of these of the laws it says. If you do anything, you know, just get yourself a goal, number one. Start there. And then try to do one thing to get to that goal. So, you know, just like we said the domino effect. 
Make one decision that day that'll solve a lot of other ones. Everybody, that was it. Thank you for listening to the Strand Tennis Center podcast. Sunday, love you. I love all the troops. Mm-hmm. See you later. Hey, everybody. Hope you like the podcast. Please share it with your friends, anybody that you know, anybody that's into tennis, anybody that's into bettering themselves. Share it.